so there was this lady. I don't know what she did, but I was waiting for for playback to actually make a video on this because I I felt like they were gonna make it. So now she's here and we're gonna see what she did. And it looks like she didn't apologize. A few things in the world that is guaranteed. Three things. I know people were or like comparing this, like her singing on the ukulele or whatever. I don't know what it's called, the little guitar, to uh that girl who was dancing in her apology video. Things, dev taxes. Forgot her name too. YouTuber apologies, man. Mm. My goodness. And this right here might genuinely be the worst uh, YouTuber apology I've ever seen in my life. So uh, we have uh Miranda Sings, OG YouTuber. Yeah. OG OG. OG I don't man. remember. She does I don't a, know. Um, cringe music where she has like a bunch of makeup caked up on her face. Really? Hey guys, it's me, Miranda. I'm uh. here in Mexico and I'm having go a lot of fun. I'm here with my mom and the ocean's behind me. So. Why is her face like that? Like her facial expressions. And just, Why is she um, doing that with her eyebrow? Stuff right there. Apparently, there's some allegations that were made back in the day, and they've resurfaced. Not only that, a bit more troubling information has also resurfaced as well. And she decided to um, apologize in the way that she knows how, and that's with song. Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. But... Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say, so... My name is Squidward. 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 Now, before we get into that, let's talk about the allegations first, because the allegations are pretty damning. There's three, three really big allegations. Several of her fans came forward accusing her of inappropriate conduct with her as teenagers, and uh -huh. one of them even accused her of grooming him. Another fan said that in 2016, after Colleen divorced her husband, Joshua Evans, which trauma dump on all of them in the chat, and that they were basically enlisted to defend her online. A fan said that he would be in class DMing her on his iPad about her abusive ex-husband, and that there were even some school nights where he would stay up until 4 a.m. trying to calm her down. So that fan, Adam McIntyre made a YouTube video a few weeks ago where he shared a lot of this stuff, and he claimed that Colleen Ballinger grooms her fans for her own benefit, and that's what happened to him. A fan says that when he was just 13 years old, she sent him a pair of her brawn panties. And in 2020, she confirmed this in a video people. where she called those actions stupid. The fan that she sent this to said that she, him, and a bunch of other fans were in a group chat with her called Weenies, and that on several occasions that she brought up sex. Again, he was a teenager, and he said that she would ask him things like if he was a virgin or what his favorite sexual position was. He also said that when he was 14, he sent a message to the chat saying that his butt looks good, and then allegedly she requested pics. Now, she has already addressed this before she said that it was dumb it was silly of her also um back in the day she um she did this giveaway which is also very weird where she went she did this like haul she bought a bunch of clothes one of the clothes that she thought was very funny and weird was a bra and panty set and that made its way to a minor as well and this minor has been making several videos about this as well um and matter of fact i can show you that one asking me to not speak his name so i was trying to respect the mother's wishes and the parents' wishes of this 17-year-old. But it has gotten to a point where there are so many rumors and lies and speculations going around, I feel like I need to address it. I do have receipts proving the things that I'm about to tell you. However, I feel uncomfortable sharing them because he is a minor. I just got a big old box from Forever 21 and I want to open it up in front of you guys. Maybe I'll send the ones I don't want to you guys. I got a bunch of crop tops. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the panties, the panties from you. And people started asking for them in the live stream. Who wants that bra? This is the bra set right here that he's wearing. You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. At the end of the live stream, I was done giving away clothes, and then this boy who made this video about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know. He has to tell me what he wants. What do you say? So it turns out this boy was 13 and she sent the 13 boy on um, brown panties. So those are the two probably biggest allegations that are against her. She's addressed it. She's apologized. She said it was very stupid of her to be um, that explicit and, you know, um, that transparent with minors at that time when she was, I believe, in her late 20s or 30s, when all of these minors are like 13, 15 and 16 years old. Um, and then she's, you know, since then apologized. However, now... 
what she's now apologizing or quote unquote apologizing for. She's addressing not only those allegations again, but also addressing new allegations about how some of her content is very disgusting towards children. And she's actively doing this right now. And she's claiming that her shows and everything she does is supposed to be PG-13. That's 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 just she's doing it. But I want you to see what the PG-13 content is. I just want you to see. <laughs> And how old are you? Eight. So he was eight years old. I don't she's get it. Old of like she's taking off some clothes. Uh -huh. That's right here. You see this this child here. Challenger has lost over a hundred thousand subscribers hell? as the controversy continues. Now, if you don't know, basically Colleen has been accused of inappropriate behaviour by some former fans who were part of private group chats with her, including sending one of them lingerie uh, when he was just a teenager, which she admitted doing. Uh, and after all that, there's been a re-examination of a lot of her other behaviour. Uh, for example, this week, a young girl who was called up onto stage at a Miranda Sings show. Colleen is Miranda Sings, plot twist. She was called up as a young teenager and she tweeted this picture and said quote I've been debating posting this picture but this was me on stage she encouraged her fans to wear revealing clothing so we would get caught on stage and then she exploited us and our bodies for her own gain so yeah I'm okay with calling her a predator uh, there's a video of this whole interaction basically this girl was called on stage as a young teen Colleen got her into this position and was like pulling her legs and then a fart the noise hell? is played and then she pretends the girl has farted so basically just very embarrassing for this girl and this is just one of a few things that people have started bringing coming out of the woodwork to sort of say you know Colleen's behavior is very strange to say the least so be very mindful of that that that's that that is the fart joke that she's referencing so now when it is time to apologize yeah apologize about all this stuff this is the manner that she decided to um address it hey it's been a while since you saw my face i haven't been doing so great i feel so like i need to snap my fingers a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. Mmm, thank God the ad came through. Oh, uh, now we're back. It's chugging down the tracks of misinformation. This is my jam, bro. Yeah, this is my it. jam, is that, man. That's probably on the radio by now, no? It should be number one on Spotify, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get some grooming allegations. No, no some, apology some yet, man. No apology. Yeah, so far it's just a whole bunch of... What she been saying, basically? Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, <laughs> I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say, so here I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts, so I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. What did she think? Like, how did she expect this to go? Like, I, don't I don't know. know. Like, I don't what know did she why. expect was going to happen? I don't know why this was the way that you addressed this, but this is by far the worst way I could, and like any, um, I can imagine somebody addressing. This is the worst way you could address it. Also, this it's is been the one worst. minute and 44 seconds. No apology. And no apology. Yeah. Not even really addressing it. Really just calling us toxic <laughs> man, for, for our entertainment. <laughs> We're about to shit on how you were grooming children. So, hey, man. To go, I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, That was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I want, as you said, she says that. I want be very mindful. She's a grown adult while she's doing that. Mm -hmm. and these are minors, very clearly minors. So yeah. She's talking, she's acting as if like, because when I first heard this, I was like, okay, I'm in, I'm in group chats with some of my my uh, people who support me as well, and I'm also like we we chat, but then you're not sending them. Your they're underwear, not minors. I'm not sending them in my underwear, even if they are minors. Like in Discord, we're not having sexual conversations about if you're a virgin or have you had. That sex. would be a and weird question I'm, to ask somebody I'm, I'm under age. Talking to them. 
him specifically about having sex. Like, I'm not doing it. Or like, how does it feel to be on your period? Like, those are not conversations that I'm having. That's especially a weird not question. Having them with like, like the sex that I'm attracted to on top of that is either. So it looks weird. You just sitting here wrapping up and like, oh, just a, a quirky aunt is trying to figure out what the tea is. That's not what those mm -hmm. conversations were. Nah. Nominate, watch this. This is so romantic. Oh, you're so hungry. Wait a minute. What the? Bro, that is crazy. That is fucking crazy, bro. Ain't no way you want a cheese ball. Nigga, if you don't get them bitches out your pants, bro. But yes, no. <laughs> that's actually insane, nigga. Nah, that's crazy. You want a cheese ball? Um, I'd love one. I can't believe I'm reaching in there right now. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. She knew what was up. That's crazy. That is crazy, though. Fuck. Yeah, so that is crazy. She's she's trying to downplay it, and it's even coming across even worse when she's downplaying it as she's singing through a ukulele. <laughs> Whole thing, you're just trying to downplay it, but these are not like regular conversations that my creepy aunt asked me because my aunt is not asking me. Hey, she said creepy, said quirky, quirky, quirky. Yeah, quirky. My quirky. She actually clarified that she wasn't being creepy. Was not being creepy. Yeah. Asking minors if they've yeah. had sex and if they're virgins, that's not creepy. Or that's asking them quirky. to grab in your pants. That was a crazy clip I saw so far. That yeah, was I, that I was know, insane. Are you in the video? Yeah, we're in the video, man. Yeah, that's fucking weird, bro. That that's was crazy. Weird. I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's nah, you want some real comments because that's crazy. Gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So Bro, why is she singing this to me? Just talk. Like, goddamn. Watching you sing this to me is getting me annoyed. This ain't. This isn't a song I'm supposed to be jamming out to. This is supposed to be an apology video, but it's not an apology video. So please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. So you know it's trash. Thank you. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong well. I don't even care if you're in the wrong at this point. Please stop singing. I'm sorry. I'm actually, I actually I don't really care, honestly, because it has nothing to do with me. But if it has something to do with you, I hope you get your apology and feel better. I don't know. It has nothing to do with me, so I find I like I, I can't care about everything. But hey, let's continue with this song. I'm not I gonna guess. take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. You have the power to change your life. That's why it's called a power card. Begin the method today with five free games. I don't even know. I don't yeah. Know. I don't even say. I don't even know what to say. It's like a weird decision. Man. I don't. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. Why is she singing it? Take on the YouTube apology game. <laughs> just a quirky aunt, man. That's just quirky aunt stuff right there, man. That's just quirky aunt stuff. So yeah, she she's essentially just downplaying it, manipulating and gaslighting, even though the evidence is pointing a different direction. And her way of addressing it is just horrible. On one end, if I would try to be the most optimistic and beneficial towards her, some of the things that we are now discussing are things that have been done in the past and she's already addressed in the past and she's claimed that her um her behavior has changed um so yeah, some of this stuff is unfortunately is owed however yeah. when you're dealing with a growing audience and you're dealing with new people who are entering your life and your fandom you may have to address things more than once especially when it's something as severe as potential grooming um allegations like those are those are very serious allegations so you you may have to address these things more than once or twice so just be prepared for that however there are still ongoing behaviors that are very interesting the cheese ball i think that crazy I don't, I don't think i have to explain wild to the playback i mean if, if a man 
Sam had a miner's legs wide open while she wore a dress. You know, we would all be having a hissy fit right now. And I think that a lot of things. I mean, for that point, wouldn't it be same sex? Because she did it to a girl. So wouldn't it be a guy having a, a kid, a boy's legs open, which would still be fucking weird, actually. And then it would be like a guy having cheese balls in his pants and then telling a girl, a underage girl to dig in or if she would like a cheese ball. That is fucking insane that she does again this is just showing the double standards of men dealing with children and women dealing with children it, it's completely different but even in that lens what she's doing is still odd as fuck i don't Yo, really know what to say i feel like okay look you can't keep beating her over the head for the same thing from years ago she already apologized for instance she improved like this you can't go back in time but she is right you should be able to hold somebody responsible and obviously if she's downplaying what the fuck happened she's not really taking responsibility yeah, you're for not it, actually the way you're supposed to um i just can't help but think like i've never i did like i'm around a lot of creative niggas but i don't even think they yeah. would come up with an nah, artistic is, take yeah. on the classic youtube apology yeah. apologies are, are pretty fucking simple for the most part i'm sorry right? for my There's actions formula to them and as long as you I'm sorry for my actions and those actions that you guys were talking about were ones that i've already apologized for in the past i know there's some new people who have just found out about me and met me right so that's all you had to say. That's all. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure people would have been like, okay. Sounds sincere and genuine. Usually it's gonna, gonna come across, it's never gonna be all the way positive because you're apologizing for something you fucked up at. But like, people will understand like, oh, okay, cool, boom, we got the apology. This doesn't feel like that. Yeah. This just kind of feels like you made a song about the situation, which makes it a little bit funnier. <laughs> it does, it makes it funnier. And, it, and the song is basically like, Y'all niggas just here for entertainment, bro. Y'all don't really care type shit. There's, there's people that I agree that that's the case for. I just don't, I don't know if she qualifies. I, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm about to say, I, I do, I do believe sometimes you're right. The cancel mob kind of gets a little too out of control and they, they take over things that probably aren't that important. But you talking to minors. It's crazy. You sending bra and panties, which you also admit was outrageous. Mm -hmm. And even you having these shows as of late, like recently, actively now is, is crazy crazy that those are crazy things those mm -hmm, are mm -hmm. things that i don't think that the cancel the cancel mob or or people out there who are just trying to have an opinion or of and things i think they are very valid in raising these concerns yeah. these are things that you're going to have to address the other thing that also just bothers me is that like she's backed by a lot of people she does shows and stuff like that she's viewed as advertisement friendly i think really she even um invited to like nickelodeon like red carpet and stuff that's like that. crazy mm. so those are the type that's your audience you can stop acting as if like you don't know what your audience is but your audience is wildly with minors you, that's just irrefutably true and so you knowing that's what your audience is and that's still the content that you decide to make and even go on shows and use minors in that way so that's a very creative way to do it i'm gonna give you a, a strong one to a light too <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do are there negative points yeah oh man as fantana would say transition <laughs> <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this apology non-apology <laughs> did you love it? did you hate it what would you rate it <laughs> <laughs> did you love did you hate it what would you rate it bro that is crazy <laughs> uh, oh. forever ever <laughs> yo man Damn it. Um just just take accountability of the new shit, bro. Keep it pushing, bro. Man. That's it. That's all it takes. Nice laugh today. Yeah, literally. That is insane. No cheese ball was insane. The funny things about the song she drew way more negative attention to herself than if she stayed alert silent or provided an actual apology. That's funny. She criticizes unidentified people for delivering misinformation to them station or whatever when she is literally doing so here ignoring evidence three she is clearly reaching for sympathy and trying to present authenticity uh, authenticity uh while attacking the core of public opinion in an obvious reverse performance and genuinely thought that would work she's the prime example as to why everybody hates theater kids they're usually over the top cringe just act like a normal person <laughs> that's crazy bro i want to laugh but i was a solo kid damn i don't even know what that means but yeah like subscribe see you guys later hope it
hope you have a good day or night and bye